Hello guys, I hope wherever you're watching us from, you're doing great. This is AfriPost and welcome to today's video. Now, we know that South Africa is gearing up towards general election where different parties are going to put themselves up for election. But then the other week, Julius Malema had a press briefing where he kind of outlined things that their party plans to do when and if they get to power. I want us to watch this video and understand certain aspects of the speech that he gave, especially when it comes to South Africa's relationship with the United States. States of America. Let's watch and then react to it after the video. If the bombardment and genocide of Palestinians continues, we'll be left with no choice but to march to the American embassy as we no longer have the Israeli embassy in South Africa. We will march to the American embassy as a sponsor of the war and genocide in Palestine. ICJ Palestine, we are with Palestine, my guy. How we make no apology about that. We will never be on the side of apartheid when we are the victims of apartheid. We refuse Israel, apartheid Israel, to wipe off the earth the Palestinians. Not under our watch. We are no bodies. We are children of the victims of apartheid. With our little influence in our little corner, we shall raise the Palestinian flag unapologetically so. We don't pretend about this. The ANC pretends because we passed a resolution in Parliament that the Israeli uh, embassy must be removed. Why is that embassy still opened? They are pretending to be doing something with this public relation ICJ. There is a fresh attack. Now we must go back to ICJ and, and say, no, uh, you, you must implement your judgment. Your judgment must be implemented. That is public relations. The real action, if you mean it, close the Israeli embassy. We are being mobilized here by the media and everyone else to concentrate on nonsense of ICJ. Let's close the Israeli embassy as agreed to by parliament. If we are brave and stop acting like we are rushing to a multinational bodies that are, are, are toothless. We support that action fully. But we think there is a more impactful action that we can take in support of the people of Palestine and that is closing of the Israeli embassy. Cyril Ramaphosa and the ANC must stop being pretentious, busy over nothing on the Palestinian question. Let's close the embassy. Parliament has said we must close the embassy. That is not a declaration of hatred against the Jews. We never said we are fighting the Jews, we are fighting apartheid Israel. There's a difference. And we make no apology about that. My guy, why, why should we care about whether there will be a retaliation from the West? We are engaged in a struggle against imperialism and colonialism. And we, are, we make no apology that we are not friends with the West. It doesn't mean we can't trade with them. We'll trade with them through our own terms. They will not come and impose themselves on us like they are doing with the ANC. We are not part of CODESA. We have never had a facilitation between the Boers and the owners of the means of production here in South Africa and the ANC that was facilitated by Britain and all of that. The, this democracy came because the Oppenheimers left the country to go and meet the ANC in exile and said to the ANC, we are going to tell the National Party to end apartheid, and you are going to come back and govern, and you govern business as usual. Nothing changes. The ANC said yes. We don't have such an agreement with the West, with America, with the Oppenheimers. We don't know the Oppenheimers. Now when I saw the Oppenheimers for the first time, was there at uh, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi's funeral. I was like, eh? This guy is a big guy. Even the open must get out of their house to come and bury him. 
And the way they were so in charge, they were not sitting down in a funeral. They were going up and down. We got to get away it so. Get my whole hour, man. My give a man. Flight I get over there. Get up a visa. Get up visa. Get my in. I walk in my man. Okay. The open eye must some self. What it is? The owners of South Africa. So we have no time for those people. We are going to reclaim our country. We are going to work with the Oppenheimers. We are going to work with Rupert through our own terms. He won't tell us what to do. He's a respected businessman. The Oppenheimers are respected business people. But it can be business as usual. That's all we're saying. It can be business as usual. Something has to give. We're not going to be controlled by Rupert here. Who speaks to them like little kids? You must go and ask how Rupert speaks to your ministers. You can't try that with me. A white man. I don't care if you've got money or you don't have. I used to have a, a, a white a mentor in Pulukwane called Jimmy. Contompelitos or something. One day he spoke to me in a bad way in a meeting. I said, oh, you must never try that. He thought I was joking. I stood up. I said, no, 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 no. No white man speaks to me like that. You don't do that. Don't do it. I don't care whether he was my man. No white man speaks to me the way Rupert speaks to your ministers. Ask Mbalula. Mbalula Utaubuja, I will tell you. Wala need Mbalula. Rupert, I love address. I love golf. I love golf. I love golf. Where are you going? Our address are Rupert. If you don't return uh, Pravin, I'm taking my things, I'm leaving. You must try that with the EFF. If you don't do this, I'm taking my things, I'm leaving. Don't have time for that. China, Russia, we're going to work with them on our own terms. We're going to work with them on our own terms. The Chinese don't go around Africa stealing anything from Africans. Your corrupt leaders overcompensate in exchange for something personal. That's what happens. The Chinese don't steal anything. Born, they are in business. When the more uh, you give them, the better for them. Why must they say no? Your leaders are not negotiating in good faith. They are negotiating with their families in mind. That's why they overcompensate. So we have no such a relationship with China. We've got a socialist and developmental relationship with China, and we know that China will help us. Russia is not our friend ideological. We are with Russia in its fight against Ukraine because we know it's a NATO fight. It's not a Ukraine fight. So that NATO can expand its territory and be closer to Russia and undermine Russia. For that, we'll be with Russia because we can't allow territorial expansion of imperialism and colonialism in whatever direction. But Putin is not left. The government of Russia is not left ideological. If anything, Putin will be more aligned with the U.S. in terms of policy and ideology, except there are fundamental differences on imperialism where Russia feels that America wants to control it through expanding the military base of NATO because the military base of NATO is an American military base. So we, that, that, it, we are with Russia in that context. Not that ideologically we are aligned. But with Vietnam, Vietnam with Cuba, with uh, China, it's a clear ideological alignment of the left forces. And that's where we belong.
and we don't isolate anyone. Now, from that clip, it is evident that Julius Malema has clearly outlined the kind of issues that they want to handle immediately they get to power. He is saying that they will remain with nothing else to do but to shut down the United States embassy in South Africa. Because as you look at it, currently it is South Africa that is leading the case against Israel in the ICJ. And this court has made bold statements concerning the activities that Israel is conducting in Gaza. But still, regardless of the issues and the rulings that the court has directed towards Israel, no serious action has been taken. And Malema believes that this inactivity on the side of Israel is because of the support that this country has from the United States. And this is the reason why they are going to have United States Embassy closed down. Many countries have come around and said that they are not supporting everything that Israel is doing in Gaza. Because if you look at it from the video that I released the other day, one thing that Benjamin Netanyahu has planned is that Israel has a plan of occupying the places that they are having their pre military presence right now. They have said that at the end of this war, their military are going to con continue to control the areas that they have their military presence and part of Gaza and Palestine are going to be controlled by Israel. And this is something that cannot be accepted. This is why even Julius Malema has said, having lived through apartheid in South Africa, they are not willing to support another apartheid regime that is Israel. And therefore, if there is anybody that is supporting Israel in these activities that they are continuing to undertake, then those people must delink themselves from Africa and South Africa for that matter. Please tell me down in the comment section your opinion about this issue and if you're watching us for the first time please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and also share. Thank you and may the good Lord bless you. Goodbye.